Hey everybody, welcome to episode of the Good Intelligence Sports Podcast Show. Hey, I'm headed to the dome. I'm I'm trying to see what the Saints gonna do today. Is we gonna show up and show out, or we gonna fold like a cheap aluminum chair? So let's go to the game. Let's find out what the Saints made up. Saints win, Bucks lose. We win the division. Saints win, Seahawks or Green Bay lose. We win it. Uh, we in the playoffs. So let's see what these Saints made up. So I just made it inside the dome. It's time to go find my seats. Uh, I'm looking for my wife now, but I'm about to go find these seats. So it was cool today to get outside the house with the family, go to the Saints game, enjoy the uh, atmosphere, just to be there and uh, and, and cheer the Saints on. Um, today happened to be a great, great game to choose to do so because we ended up beating the brakes off the Falcons, right? Um, I want to read over some of these numbers uh, to you. Um, I would have been uh, talking on the video while I was rolling some of this footage, but it was so loud in there. And after the Saints do anything, they always playing on uh, music on the PA. And I just don't want to take any chances getting a strike on my channel. You know, would have been in uh, in its infancy. Right now, I'm still growing the channel. And the last thing I need is YouTube to be putting strikes on it for copyright infringement. So uh, I'm going to read over some of these numbers today. The Saints played really, really well on both sides of the ball today. Uh, first half, not so much for the defense. Uh, you know, I did I didn't know what was going on with the defense in the first half. But that second half, the team turned up. So um, Desmond Ritter today looked like a competent quarterback for the first half. He looked like a real deal NFL quarterback in the first half. The second half, not so much. It's like he went on bourbon and got a hurricane uh, during halftime and came back and, and, and tried to play in the game, right? He was out there... I don't know what the hell happened. Like it was Jeff, Mr. Jekyll and Dr. Hyde or something. Um, so we have Devin, Desmond Ritter. It's 22 of 30, 291, 9.7 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. He had a rating of 111.9 that he finished with. He had a perfect rating at halftime. 17-17 was the score at halftime. And then the Saints blitzed him. Uh, it ended in the game at 48-17. Atlanta didn't sniff the uh, other side of the 50 almost, right? They, get, they didn't get anywhere near the uh, end zone. Uh, so um, as far as running running the ball, uh, B. John Robinson did not have a great day running. The last time the Saints played Atlanta as a team, uh, they ran for over 200 yards. Today, not so, not so much. They only had... 78 yards rushing on 25 carries as a team. But catching the ball out of the backfield, that's what Bijan did most of his damage in the first half. He had seven catches for 103 yards, as long as being the 71-yard uh, catch that Elante Taylor decided he just was going to try to intercept the ball, miss badly, and Bijan hit his head on the goalpost. You know, uh, the Saints moving right along. Derek Carr played very well today. He's 22 of 28, 264. 9.4 average, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Kendry Miller got his first career touchdown rushing today. Uh, it took, only took him 17 weeks to do it, right? Um, that's all Pete Carmichael. Uh, 13 carries, 73 yards, and like I say, first career touchdown. Uh, Rashid Shaheed, the Pro Bowl wide receiver, Rashid Shaheed. Um, played very well today. Three catches, 65 yards, one touchdown. Chris Olave, also three catches, 56 yards, and he had the juggling catch over the um, Atlanta Falcons DB. A.T. Perry had two touchdown catches today. He played very well today. Demario Davis on defense was excellent, as always. That's death, taxes, and then Demario. That's just how it goes. Nine tackles. Jonathan Abram, nine tackles. Paulson Adebo, seven tackles. Uh, yeah, Tyron Matthew, who got caught from behind by an offensive lineman. I don't know if it was just something that he didn't want to score 
or he got tired, you know, and just looking for a reason to go down, leading me to the confusion. Right into it. Let me just start by saying this. Dennis Allen, um, before today, if you told me Dennis Allen was a sucker, I'd have told you, man, come on, man. You don't know that. You, you don't know that. You know, the guy, because there's no way he gets to the level that he is being a punk. But after what I've seen today, man, look, speaking of the interception, we get down to the one-yard line. Let me give some context. We get down to the one-yard line, and the offensive players ask Dennis Allen, could they get Jamal Williams a touchdown? He, Dennis Allen tells them no. No. Victory formation, nil the ball. Well, they had other ideas. They decided as a team, according to James Winston, that they were going to get Jamal Williams a touchdown. His first touchdown, by the way, of the year. So they line up in victory formation and Jameis takes the ball, hikes, takes the ball, hands it to Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams gets a very easy touchdown. While this is occurring, no one in the stands knows anything. We just, you know, watching the game. There's only a minute left in the game anyway. Um, we're just thinking that the Saints decided to take this rivalry to another another level, right? And run up the score on the Falcons. We don't have a problem with that. <laughs> Dennis Allen does. So, not, not only Dennis Allen, but Arthur Smith does. So Arthur Smith, during the handshake, decides that he's going to lay into Dennis Allen and give him a piece of his mind. What the F are you doing? And this is BS and I'm appalled and whatever he whatever else he said. And Dennis Allen is actually sitting there trying to console or to uh, uh, um, get Arthur Smith to relax and and tells him, I understand that agrees with him after he's been cussed out like he's less than a man. Then Dennis Allen proceeds to go into his press conference and the first thing he does, first thing he does is apologize to Arthur Smith, then proceeds to throw the team under the bus. If that ain't a sucker move, I don't know what it is. Man, could you be any more of a wimp? Do you have any type of backbone? Let me tell you something, man. If Arthur Smith is approaching me with that attitude and he's that hostile, by the time he gets within arm's reach of me, I probably hit him. Because I got to get you before you get me. You're walking up on me like his own. Like it's go time. I don't know how to respond to that. But to get you before you get me. Then once I figure, once they, they jump in and say, oh, he's just talking. Oh, my, my, my bad. But, you know, I, I didn't know. I, you know, I, I thought I thought it, this is what we were about to do. Because we in the we in front of the cameras. The world is watching. We in front of the world, Craig. The camera's still rolling. And you running up on me talking about what the f is that and and what's bs and and wh whatever man grab your balls and tell Arthur Smith in that moment f you too who in the hell you think you talking to man my mama don't talk to me like that and she gave me life you think I'm talk let you talk to me like that f you Two, and if you're feeling froggy leap, or you can meet me by your buses and we can get some understanding out there. If, if you don't want me to scope, stop me. Pick one. Pick one. But what you don't do, I understand. Man, the, the only thing I'm understanding is when the bob and the weave and what, what hand to swing with lefts and rights. That's, that's the only understanding I'm going to be getting to if you come to me with that type of attitude. Not 
up uh, and then go then I, then I'm gonna go in my uh my, my my press conference and throw my players under the bus and apologize and talk about who we are and what we do business as look man nobody knew what the situation was you don't have to come out there and snitch and talk about what you wasn't a part of Man, nobody got no gun in your head. This ain't what what the Saints did isn't illegal. They didn't break any football rules. They simply scored. They scored. Man, the score is already out of hand. It's already 41-17. How about because how, this you gotta you gotta take some accountability yourself, Arthur Smith. How about you run the ball? When the clock is is running, and it's forty one seventeen already, let me let, let me remind you, Arthur Smith, your backup quarterback threw an interception. How about you come out and run half back dive, half back dive, half back dive, punt the ball. If the game is over, if you don't want to be scored on, because it seems as though you're still playing. You're throwing the ball for Christ's sake and down 41-17. Just run the timeout. You're not going to the playoffs anyway. Why are you risking getting your, your players hurt since you want to take that angle? You still playing, I'm still playing. That would have been my, my synopsis. That's what I would have talked about if someone would have asked me in a press conference. Not... I, I I didn't I wasn't a part of that and I didn't want you know I, I said victory formation because guess what guess what I've done I've now let the world know that I don't have the respect of these players that what my word what I say don't necessarily go I told them no they did it anyway what that make me look like I look like a plain old fool I look like a clown. Dennis Allen, you played yourself. Never play yourself. Never, never play yourself. That'll be the last thing that I do. Because now, this goes back to Mickey. There is no way you can bring him back. No way you see the players don't respect him. Then he gets out there and lets Arthur talk to him crazy. So that lets you know his contemporaries don't respect him. There is no way you can bring him back as a coach. He's not a leader of men. I'm starting to think he ain't a man at all. That's what I'm thinking. Because what's the worst that can happen? Even if you a punk, even if you scared, you timid, you won't necessarily bust a grape in a fruit fight. You won't throw rice at a Chinese wedding. The last thing you're going to do is let a fool talk to you like that, especially with all these people around. How much, what are you going to do to you? Even if you are a punk. Even if you are a punk. Because what's going to happen to you? He can't get to you. He ain't going to do you nothing. There's no way you bring him back. There's no way. There's no way you bring him back. No way. No way. No how. Ain't no Ain't no way. Ain't no how. Gotta, you got to let him go. We know Pete ain't coming back. We already got that news. Dennis got to be right behind him. And if Mickey, if you can't do it, Gail, you got to fire Mickey. It's just that simple. What can the Saints do to get better in the offseason? Well, one, fire Dennis Allen. Two, draft better. Three, maybe get you a linebacker in free agency or draft one and get you a receiver because we all know it, it, it looks like Michael Thompson's not coming back. And rumor has it, Marshawn Lattimore might be out the door too, as well as Alvin Kamara, depending on what you can do with, with those contracts. So this may be a day of uh, reckoning. They, 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 we don't know, but look, man. All I know is this: the Saints are out of the playoffs. I didn't necessarily want to see them in the playoffs anyway. The last thing I wanted to do is see them get embarrassed or watch a bad product or watch them sleepwalk for the first two quarters and run into a team like either the Philadelphia Eagles or it would have been the Dallas Cowboys that they would have had to play, and both teams would have probably beaten the black off the Saints. So, it is what it is. Hey, man, y'all jump in my comments. Let me know 
uh, what content you would want to see because, hey, my channel's still growing. The Saints season over. Goon Intelligence Sports Podcast season ain't over, though. So y'all let me know what content y'all want me to uh, fill the channel with while we wait on our Saints to come back. And, and uh, of course, I'm going to cover the NFL playoffs, right? Playoffs? Uh, of course, I'm going to do that. So, we, you know, we, I'm, I'm going to figure it out. But y'all jump in the comments and let me know. Hey, this has been another episode of the Good Intelligence Sports Podcast Show. You could have been anywhere else in the world, but you decided to share with me, and I appreciate you for that. Until next time, peace. Looks like the Saints came to play today. Saints win. Who won the day? Who won the day?